Welcome to MusicMoveIt.com, and today we're going to talk about marketing your music in the streets. Marketing, it's important, very, very important. Finding your market for your music is basically, it's a number of things. It's, sit there and think, who are you trying to promote your music to? Who do you want, who are your buyers? Is your music more relatable to teenagers? Is it more relatable to the 30, uh, 30 to 40 year old crowd. This is your market. What, who are you trying to sell to? What areas even come into it? Um, are you focusing overseas? Is your market in the United States? Your market might just be in Ohio, you know? So you got to know your market, who you're trying to market and promote your music to. And this is where marketing comes in. Now, street marketing. It could be very beneficial, but you gotta follow the rules of it too. Let me explain. Now, a lot of record labels and indie, indie and major, they hire marketing, street team marketing and promotions groups. And basically the street team will go out, they'll, uh, they'll go to certain events, they'll go to clubs and things like that and they'll pass out promotional material of your artist or band they will even go to record stores uh, to make sure your music is there if it is there they will give posters to the store to give out things like that uh they do a ton of things and you, usually when you hire a really professional one they'll even give you like uh either weekly or bi-weekly reports of what they've done what they've seen how the people are reacting things like that so they market in the streets. They go to festivals, you know, all kinds of places where people will be that are your potential market. So um, for, for, for one, like for instance, they're not going to go to a country music festival and hand out stuff for a R&B artist because it's, that's not the market. They're going to go to something that relates to that genre of music. So now... If you have the budget, by all means, hire a team. If you don't have a huge budget, you can assemble a team of friends or whomever, or you can even pay on a lower budget, and you can be your own street team. And this means going to clubs. This means going to festivals, like I said before. It could be any kind of festival, as long as your market will be there, your age group, or you're not going to go to some 65-plus-year-old festival if you're promoting a hip-hop record, you know? So just use common sense, obviously. Don't waste your time and money passing stuff out to people who don't even give a shit about it. So understand who your market is first. Who are you selling to? Who are you trying to sell to? And go from there. Now, like I said, there are rules. Um, <clears throat> you know, you want to... The best place to do street marketing... There's a couple ways you can go about it. You might want to do it in areas where you're not getting a lot of radio play or you're not as visible, um, things like that, because then you could go to this area. Say say you're an artist in um, Miami, Florida, for instance, and you know in Tampa you're really not popping off. You're not jumping. Maybe they just haven't heard of you as much. So you can like set up a show there, maybe a radio interview, something, and while you're there, have your street team. It, it, you know, like I said, it could be a hired team or just saw, it could be you and a group of people doing it. Whatever your budget may be. And you go and you hand stuff out to clubs, to, you know, wherever your market may be. Festivals. You could go to record stores and ask if you can put up a poster. That's that's where also where I said there are rules to it. You can't just put posters anywhere. So don't. If you're your own street team, don't go and put a poster up on a downtown building or something. It's illegal. And they can find you. I've heard of street teams getting fined like 75 bucks a poster or a um, whatever that they have to pull down. 
and they will they will find you and they will find you it's illegal to just put them up anywhere so if you're gonna put up posters make sure you get the permission of where you're putting it at like a record store don't just put them up on their window get their get permission most places like that will be more than happy to do it especially if your music's in that store now you could promote shows this way you can promote your album release this way street marketing can do wonders you can hand out little color postcards with your info on it your website um where to buy your album things like that you can hand out sample cds you can hand out sample thumbnail drives with your music on it with mp3s a lot of cars have usbs now they just plug that thumb drive in your music's right there a lot of cars aren't even putting cd players in their car anymore which is crazy to think about because i don't know but that's just how it's going so get permission uh just don't put stuff anywhere you're going to be wasting your money because someone's going to tear it right down if it, they think it's not supposed to be there so you know just anywhere where you think your fans will be get permission you know even at clubs sometimes you have to get permission i remember one time my street team when i released an album i was in um you know a downtown area club area and we were passing out it was just simple uh i don't know simple little cards with my you know where my album was being sold and where they could download it things like that website just what i said before full color postcards and we we're handing them out to people in line at the clubs and the bouncers saw us and they were mad they came over there and these are like big hulking guys and um they thought we were passing out flyers to to rival clubs you know like maybe we're the club down the street coming to their club to give out flyers to their to this club down there and they were mad and i had to explain to them i was like no no it's just for uh album release and they were real cool about it after that but get permission for even something something like that go earlier in the day talk to the manager or owner and see if he'll, they'll let you do that Sometimes you don't have to ask. If it's like a music club already, you can just go in. Say it's a, say you're a country band. You can go to another local band's show and bring your own promotional material and just give them to people there. Just, most of the times, nobody gives a shit. You know, we used to do it all the time like that. We'd go to another hip-hop show or whatever and uh, take our promo material there. We put it on the table so when people got their drinks, they can look at it, things like that. Gave them directly to people, stuff like that. And um, also, it's just go. It's just good, rather, to go to other local artists and band shows and support them because you make friends that way, and you make um, you, you open more doors possibly by showing support to other bands and artists in your area or in whatever area you're doing it in. I mean, it could you know your local area might be um, Texas and go to Virginia and do the same thing. Support local acts there. Introduce yourself. It's it's you know being cordial and being pleasant and showing support to other artists and things like that can go a long way you'll build lifelong friendships um s stepping stones to other things that may happen you might meet this band in one club be like hey I, I really loved your show i'm such and such and i'm i'm also in a band or i'm also an artist and you know you exchange business cards or whatever you never know that band might be like you know that guy was real cool we need an opening act. Let's call him. You see what I'm saying? So things like that, you build bridges and you build opportunities and you build friends, acquaintances, colleagues, all that good stuff. So back to marketing in the streets though. Yeah, just don't go to like a mall and start passing out stuff because that's another no-no. It's also, they'll kick you out quick. So just, like I said, think of where your market is and get permission if you have to. Remember laws. And go right to the people directly market to them Mark, market to these people promote your stuff give out freebies do whatever you need to do and if you have to pay for stuff like for instance if say there's a big music festival coming or you know something like that sometimes you can rent space out in these festival areas you can rent like a table and um, set up your cds there or uh just information on your band or yourself you know you could give out free stuff like i don't know keychains people still do that stuff people love stickers and buttons still believe it or not and um posters give stuff out 
you know, if you have to pay for a little section, it's worth it. If there's going to be a thousand plus people there, maybe even more, who knows? You know, you never know. Try different things. But street marketing, street teams work. Just follow the rules. And I'm telling you, it'll pay off. Just keep it consistent. Go out there and do your thing. You know, that's another thing, though, where you might have to sacrifice time because a lot of these clubs are at night. You might be out for hours. So keep that in mind, too. So, but it works. Definitely try it out. Now, I wanted to tell you before the video ends, I wanted to see, are you on or is your music in the Worldwide Music Directory? It's a directory online. It's a site where music lovers can go and check out all kinds of artists, all kinds of different genres. They can click on a genre, see who's in there, and there's links to these people's music they can check out. Um, if you're not on this directory, get on it. It's www.worldwidemusicdirectory.com. There's going to be a link in the uh, description below. Check that out. It's free to list yourself, and it takes like five minutes. You don't have to like take a ton of time to do it. It's quick and easy. List your name, website, all that good stuff, your links, and you're good to go. It's pretty popular too. So it's good for promotion. So I wanted you to check that out. And also, if you like this video, give a thumbs up. Leave a comment. Let me know how street marketing has worked for you. Have you put together a street team? Have you hired a street team? Did it seem effective for you? Let us know in the comments. I'd love to hear about all that. I want to thank you for watching. Subscribe if you haven't yet, and I will see you next video. Thanks for watching my videos. And I wanted to tell you about a few things. I'm going to leave some links in the description below. So make sure you take advantage of them. I want you to check out and download our ebook. It's a step-by-step -step guide to release your own music from start to finish. Check out the link below. It's called Release Your Own Music, a step-by-step -step guide. Download that today. Also, Django Radio. It's a streaming service like a Pandora. And they're doing a special offer with me where they're giving artists and bands 100 spins on their streaming station. You just got to click the link below. You can only use this link to get that offer and you must be a new Django user. It's an excellent opportunity to get your music out there to more people. Check it out. Click the links and we'll see you soon. Thanks.